Um, so, some freaking number called me in my last video and it stopped the video. So half of what I shared with you was not filmed. But, um, that's okay. This one, I will focus on some handstand exercises that I've been doing on my own to help me with my skill building. The first one is a, I gotta just be careful for the stuff around me and the window wall. So, we'll see how this goes. A uh, kneeling position is a great way to enter into the lunge. It lets the, the movement into, um, did I just say here, kneeling lunge into a handstand. So, when you're coming into the handstand from this position, you just have more control coming into the shape and you can start to get into a rhythm of getting your feet over your head in this position. You never want to jump. You want to jump, but you don't want to overcommit. You don't want to flail your body into the space. You want to control the movement. So try this out. If your arms stay in line with your shoulders, please don't do this. Keep the arms in line with your shoulders. Bring your hands down about a foot in front of that left foot, and then the right leg is what brings you up. I think I'm okay here. Show my space. So you come back and you lunge to the point that isn't necessarily to hold a handstand. Bonus points if you do. Keep going. Do about three more hops. And then you just want to switch legs. So this is my scary side. <laughs> we all have a scary side. Uh, just work with it. So if maybe on this side, you don't jump as high. Maybe you don't even lift your right foot off the mat. Maybe you're just working the pattern. Maybe it's a smaller jump. Notice how my elbows are bending. I feel good. I feel I'm straight. You can tell I'm scared of this glass door in front of me. Hence why I'm not committing. One more. And release. Sitting on your heels for a moment. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Open your chest. Take your right arm off to the side. Bring your left foot onto the mat. And just press your hips up. As you reach your left arm over your head. And then reset. And then come back to center. Hop with both feet. Again, I'm not committing because I've got a glass door right there. I've got just stuff around me. Um, it's amazing how your environment have a direct impact on your confidence. Such a metaphor for life. So because of this, I'm not committing, but I can still work on specific things. So um, I'll show it this way. And then maybe I'll turn my body that way so you can actually maybe even get into it. Um, hands are shoulder distance apart always. And from your downward dog, you want to bring maybe the shoulders over the wrists. So when you hop, you bring your heels to your butt and your hips over your shoulders. Do about five hops. So, five of those, maybe even ten of those, have a wall, and you're doing it against the wall. Your tail, your sacrum should touch the wall first before your feet does. 
because that will start to teach you how to bring your pelvis over your shoulders. And I think that's that's it for now with the space that I'm that I'm working with. Um, let's see if I can show you this one. I should be okay to do it. <laughs> Small confined spaces. Uh, you've seen you've seen me do this in a couple of my other videos. Straddle jump. So again, same thing. And shoulder distance, straight arms. You start from a wide-legged position. I just want to make sure I'm not going to tap anything. <laughs> All right, so again, bring the weight forward. Take your legs up and down. So you want to bring your legs out into a straddle and then overhead. So I'm gonna finish the video because I don't think I'll be able to speak after that, but that's a little bit of strength and core work for you as you get through your 14 days. <laughs> Peace.